Well, hello again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Yakuza Zero, where we are back again as Majima, now in Kamurocho. Oh boy. <laughs> Last time was pretty rough, wasn't it? I sucks to see Tachibana go. Like that character, I really did end up liking him in the end. He was a really cool dude, and it sucks that he had to be a casualty of this story, but eh, what are you gonna do? So. No time for crying over that as Majima's quest to save Makoto continues. I don't know where exactly we are in the timeline at the moment, but the point is we are now in Kamurocho. Freaking what's his face? Sagawa is breathing down our necks to find Makoto. We gotta check out where Tachibana could have been. We're gonna be going to the champion district. Before I go there, look at the amount of money we've made. We I believe this is from our completion of the last Majima chapter. I don't think this is from our Kiryu playthrough. We have 107 million smackaroon which is a lot of money to play with. So keeping in mind that we still have some skills to unlock with Majima. Unlike with Kiryu, like big golf clap, we got all of Kiryu's stuff open. We still got two moves to learn from our masters for Majima. The thug one is easy. We just buy this one and then we're ready as soon as we go back to Sotenbori. Yep. Um, I just realized saying that it's not even a given that we will go back to Sotenbori. Maybe we can check a taxi. We should probably check a taxi if they could give us a ride. After all, Kiryu could hitch a ride to Osaka. Maybe, maybe we can as well do that. So let's see, what is this we're buying, by the way? Reverse Shin Strike. Hold a movement direction away from way Majima's facing, then triangle. Oh, okay, so if a guy's coming from behind us, we can actually flip around and do that. That sounds interesting. We'll have to try to try that out as well. My god, look at this. Just another crazy combo here <laughs> for Majima. Man, that sounds fun, but, you know... This is what we really care about. And, of course, we need to work on Breaker Style. This is the one that's going to take a bit of work. It's going to cost us 150 million altogether to get to this final one. It better be worth it. So what's the first thing we get? Boost your attack power slightly. Okay. That's pretty good. Breaker Style, I think, has the lowest damage output. So a boost to that. Just, you know, per... Not damage output, just like damage per attack is the lowest on. Uh, Secret of the Strut? Oh man, I wish I could get to that. But anyway, it's, it's good to just boost up breaker style damage. Just a nice solid boost to that. Should we hitch a taxi? Not quite yet. Let's go, since we're so close to the champion district. Let's us run over there and go see what's going on. So what's going on here? Gandara Kamurocho. What is this place? Oh, it's that one of those places, right. Let's not. Jeez, you guys are just blocking my shine, aren't you? Wow, that took long loading. I don't know what the deal with that one was. Oh, there's a guy with a gun. Oh, and this guy did a crazy. Okay. Guy with the gun's gonna be a problem, so I'm gonna deal with him first. Actually, let's just break out the bat, why don't we? Oh, come on, give me up. What, what, is, go what is going on now? Well, let's, uh. Wait, what's the. Oh, this is the stealing the bat move. Nice, I like that. It's confidence. I was trying to do the reverse in strike there, as you can probably guess, but not seem to work out, now did it? Oh, let's break out my own bat then. Just let's give him a clap with that Tanizaki here. Gotta get back to the Majima groove, you know. Once again, we're switching characters. It's been a while. Go. Oh, now there's another guy with a gun? Ooh, you sneaky little... Why don't I, why don't I put a safety cone on that gun of yours, sir? Not good. Not good going around with a freaking gun, you creep. 
Two guys with guns, not cool. I'm gonna go grab some local cuisine before we head into the champion district to get my HP up. It'd be a shame not to try the local Tokyo cuisine while, uh, while we're here, since we have the opportunity. Of course, this is Korean BBQ, so I don't know how much... Uh, local is very relative in this situation. Oh, that's kind of weird. They give the check marks even though it's stuff that we bought with Kiryu. Well, I guess for completion's sake, it's... You know, we've already bought those, so... Hmm, beef tongue. I, I, I'd imagine that eating a tongue would be incredibly tough. Like, it seems like a tongue would be really... Really, really tough meat, so I don't don't quite uh, know if the tongue is such a del delicacy. Maybe cow tongues are much softer than human tongues, I don't know. Huh. I, I don't aim to try. Now let's go down to this champion's district. Well, here I am in the champion district. Any of Tachibana's guys still kicking around here? Hmm. How are we gonna find this? So this is very much based. I think I talked about this when we came here last time. A long, long time ago. This is actually based on a little district, which is indeed in the east of... Uh, east of Shinjuku. So in the east side of uh, real-life Kabukicho. It's just this area where there are absolutely tiny little... Tiny little establishments, like you can you, you can't fit like more than ten people into some of these bars. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's kind of interesting, and they apparently have like very select clientele. Some of them, like uh, you might actually have trouble fitting into some of these places. I don't know. I've heard some stuff about real life kabuki cho, the nightlife there. It can be a bit of a hassle, so I don't know if I'd personally recommend anyone show up here. Yes. Hey, hello, what would you like? Just gonna get myself some Kyogetsu Green. This is a prime example of Korean soju. A spring water base gives it a clean taste with a premium Korean... Korean? Korean barley adds a mellow rounded feel. It's quite affordable, too. That was a weird pause. <laughs> I'd give it an A plus for cost performance. I used to drink this all the time. And its taste is still as familiar as an old friend. It's even better. Thanks to those fond memories. Look at that jamming song in the background. So, no leads on Tachibana, huh? Just gonna chat to me about drinks, huh? Another one, perhaps? No, I got a lot of bu pubs to crawl through. Well, that's too bad. Well, take care and come again soon. Yeah, like, this place actually looks really big compared to what I've heard about those tiny dives in in Shinjuku. Like, well, I know one place in Finland which kind of is like this. It's, uh... Behind the uh, National Museum Ateneum in Helsinki, there is just this, uh like, pedestrian street, and behind Ateneum there's like this length of buildings that are, are, you know, super narrow, and there's like a really narrow pizza place, and a really narrow, I think, a bakery, and a, and a bar at the very end, and it definitely looks like you, you could only fit like maybe half a dozen people in there before things get cramped. It's, it's kind of interesting. I, I've often looked at it with... Uh, some interest as I've passed it. Hello. How, what can I get you? Now this is more of what I'm thinking of. Look how tiny this place is. And this is freaking brick lined walls. This is the kind of... Well, I, if I say dive, it sounds like a little rude. I mean, I think that it, it's charming in its kind of weird way. And I also i am amused that the barkeepers dress so nicely. So... What have you got for me? Okay, all sorts of stuff. Beef eater, yo! So I are these all like actual real life brands then? Because I know beef eater. Let's get some beef eater. Just because I like the name beef eater. 
Beef eater is a gin drinker's gin, enjoyed in 170 countries the world over. It's popular straight up or in cocktails like the martini. I'd bet that any bar you walk into has at least one bottle of this stuff waiting. Yeah, I know, I... Even a guy like me who does not uh, partake of alcohol, I recognize that uh, label right there. It's got a full juniper flavor with a fresh citrus bite to it. So I like that they have a record here called Cool Sounds Dreams. Sounds that sounds very pure moods. I would personally like a album called Cool Sounds Dreams by Taka J Hashi if I'm reading that correctly. Huh. Would you like another one? No, I think I'm good. Fair enough. Please come by again. I know the beef eater wasn't the most expensive drink on your menu, but uh, I can't uh, partake in any more. Wow, this place is just called Good Job. Good Job Rock and Roll Bar. That sounds like a fun place. So, I couldn't find anything out in the uh, dives here. Uh, there I go, I said it again, but here's a random person to talk to. What is up, sir? I can't imagine living in a place like this, though. This seems like a really crazy place to live, because this guy's a resident. <laughs> No, I mean an actual Yakuza. I mean, I'm an actual family man. Are you, you got wife and kids to take care of? This guy's tacky jacket is Yakuza is itself. Look at those goofy dragon designs. <laughs> Another swing and a miss. Where the hell is she? Well, that didn't go great. I mean, I got a little bit more exposition, but it didn't help me. Interesting, we can't leave the place from down here. I wonder why that is. Someone needs money? What? I think someone's being hassled. No, not these guys. I'm not sure where the hassling was happening. Johnny the Idiot! What a fantastic sounding bar. Let's freaking look at this cramped hallway. Look, this, these guys are so screwed with me dance battling over here. Am I doing more damage, by the way? to do de decent damage. There we go, posing. Ow. Let's get that friendly fire going. Oh, I wish I'd gotten both of them, but Maida had a bit too much health still on him. The other guy is almost done. Oh. Except he's still got a little bit of fire in him. There we go. Yeah, that did some solid damage. Breaker style is getting dangerous, I'll give you that much. We're making good money too from these fights. I'm up to ten and a half million. I mean, not super money. We won't we still need to make a hundred million to get to that final final move, but uh, that final move in uh, breaker style. But like it's 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 uh it's helping these fights on the street. On the alley. Well the guy I talked to is gone. Oh shit! Those are not here to help me. I should just jump into one of these bars and disappear in there. Aha! So that's how you throw a guy off, is getting some innocent people in between. Oh, what a great life. What? Well, you've gotta be kidding me. Well, I guess... I guess they wouldn't just vanish, so... Oh, really? A guy with a gun again? Oh, two guys with a gun! Okay, well, you know what? You know how to shut down two guys with a gun? Oh, actually... Let's get that spin Rooney going! Oh, there's the guy with the other gun. Well, I'll just let these two deal with themselves. 
Kai. Who are the men in black, by the way? I'm sure I've wondered that before in this game, but like... Like, who are these people? Why are they... <laughs> Why are there these black-clad businessmen who don't seem to be Yakuza-affiliated, just messing with people on the street who are Yakuza-affiliated? It's all very mysterious. We haven't seen a single alien in this game, so I don't really understand. See, he was getting angry there, Inamura, so I had to put him down quick-like. Ow. Show me your ass! I'm gonna throw a gun at you. So how do you like that? I hmm, try to do the reverse shin kick, but I'm not pulling it off. I'm the the problem is that um, it says. Hold on now. Let Let's see now. Let's let's review real quickly. It says hold a movement direction away. Okay, so fair enough. I haven't been holding. I've just been tapping. Then triangle. You know, if I hold in a direction, I kind of turn that way. So I, I not, maybe I'm just not understanding the prompt correctly. Ah, here we go. What? The Shimano family here? What? Why? What, why are you... What are you doing here? Uh, oh, right. I guess we kind of... Yeah, I forgot about all that part. Yeah. I mean, can I just tell these guys that I'm working for them? Okay. Okay, then. I'll fight you guys, too. Is that, is that what you lads want? Ooh! Oh, opening was strong. Let's, let's put this guy down first, since he seems to be the ringleader here. Anybody else want a piece? Let's let's uh, give that uh, reverse shin kick another go once we've cleared up a couple more guys, so it's a little bit a little bit uh, easier the streets here. Don't think I don't see you there. Oh, I wonder if holding R1 won't help you, like uh, retain your direction, so the shin kick can be done more easily. Huh? Okay. Right. Ooh, that was interesting. Oh no, but that was my. I wonder if it's a heat move, actually. Hold on. Well, I'm not getting a chance because these lads just keep beating the stuffing out of me. Ugh. See, I'm, tr I'm holding it towards that guy, but just not getting that shin kick. I'm, I'm getting this cool, cool like reverse, but uh, I, I hate that. That's as honestly a feeling I hate when I just don't understand the, uh, don't understand the like prompt. Well, that's just kicking a guy on the ground. Oh, 
maybe that was it? That was just it? Just a big old kick like that? Cause what's the regular triangle? Now, I don't know, I guess it was a little different, that kick? Uh, not a very fancy move, if you ask me, if that's all it is. Come on, just come closer to this car, my friend. What, no triangle? No, no prompts? There we go. Alright, cool, the choke. It's a oldie but a goodie. Oof, not my best fight, but part of that was me messing around with that damn shin kick that I just couldn't pull off, unfortunate. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, I thought it was Sagawa for a second. Veterans! Ah, then well, that's more like it. <laughs> Whoa, what? I was just saying last episode how weird it is how little, you know, how we haven't seen Shimano at all. He's only been in, like, uh, flashbacks since he's such a big part of the plot. I mean, okay, good job keeping the guy mysterious, I guess. F for this long. Wow, that was cool chopsticks moves. <laughs> Futoshi Shimano, patriarch of the Shimano family, a Tojo clan subsidiary. Yeah, what's a little torture between old friends? It's all water under the bridge. <laughs> oh, well, there he is now. Oh boy. I didn't realize Shimano lives in Tokyo, in Kamurocho. Like, uh... I, that explains why we haven't really seen him in uh, Osaka. Okay. よっ<笑> <笑>今立花不動産ってとこの連中が女連れてカムロ町に来てる。ほう、そうなのことになっとったんか。That's <笑> funny. <laughs> Well, I'll give you that. My... <laughs> My mind is sufficiently blown. <laughs> yeah, Saga was like, excuse me, you've had me waste my time trying to get this guy to do what I tell him for nothing. Uh... What kind of 4D chess is this? Oh, 
明してくれんだろうな、兄弟。<笑>その前に、お前らもう空の一つを見たか。あ、huh? ?It's not really on the tourist brochure, is it? 七福通りと太平通りに挟まれた一帯にある、端切れの土地や。そんな土地が今、東場会の鍵を握っとる。道島組の連中が大金つぎ込んできた。カムロ町再開発計画。そのあ、シェッドベッド。からの一つにかかっとんねや。もし道島総兵がその土地を手にしてみ。そっから生まれる再開発の利権を手土産に。<laughs> I love how foul this guy's mouth is. Shit for brains, fuck what. Like, it's not like anyone's been super. Well, there's been a lot of polite characters in this game, but I love how. You can't seem to get a single sentence out without being a smart aleck, cussy boy. <laughs> わしが登場会とんのに一番邪魔な男や。ああ